music okay let's turn on the live stream yay here i am hi everyone hi 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 how's it going we just turn on the game and make sure that obs is catching it and come on obs there we go um so uh how is everybody doing how is everyone's friday doing uh, my Friday is a really nice Friday if you if anyone is wondering and it's um It's a really nice one because it's the aftermath of the vaccine side effects, which I am Vaccinated and happy. Oh, yeah, I think you can see that the injection thingy in here and it hurts it still hurts, but I'm vaccinated yay uh okay uh so let's before going to the deep roads i want to go i need to go to the camp first because i just realized that i did not actually go give the urn the ashes the sacred ashes of andraste i didn't give it to our even yet and the thing is i was thinking I'm missing something, I'm missing something, and I couldn't remember what I was you missing. You know, I've heard about the Orlesian bards. Who hasn't? They are quite famous, after all. The stories I heard were a little racier. It had to do with how a bard assassinated her target. How they were lulled into lulled complacency. Lulled into complacency. If those stories were true, <laughs> who would ever agree to entertain a bard in their court? Oh, I don't know. There's a certain allure to danger, isn't there? 
And besides, you couldn't all be assassins, could you? I'd take my chances, if the stories were true, that is. We had rules about that sort of thing. Strict rules. Such as? <laughs> You're not gonna tell me, are you? Let's just say I had plenty of reasons to join the Chantry, shall we? And leave it at that. Oh, wow. Why do I have Lil... Oh, yeah, I wanted Liliana with me because I needed her quest. But I believe that it's actually... Um, I have to have her um, approval to be a little bit less. I needed to check this. But I didn't because, duh, I never do this. Redcliffe Castle, please, thank you. So if it doesn't trigger here, I will have to go... Okay, come on, come on, trigger, come on, come on, Liliana. Ah, oh, that's not it. That's the guy I bought the thingy from. Okay, let's... let's... You have coins, stranger? With Orzammar closed off, old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Uh, what's going on in Orzammar? I mean, I just came I mean. from there, Travel but tell trade. me again, Understand? random stranger. Let's see this discount of yours. Do you have a, a bag? A bag that, uh... Ooh, blue satin shoes. I'm buying this for Liliana. Uh, I think painting of a rebel queen. I think some of these... Sprawling work of early Ferelden ph attempts to defy many discipline under one theory of mental capacity. Long censored. Bunny! Huh? Ouch! My arm's still sore. Hi! Okay, I can wait with this arm. This arm's fine. Hi! How's it going, Bunny? I missed you! Uh, one point to spend on food. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, how was everything? It's like I spent two days in bed and something. I was like, I miss my friends. I want to go back to playing. I miss. How's the little one as well? I hope she's feeling better. Oh, the poor doll. I don't think that these stuff are actually. <laughs> it's like I heard something. Thank you. I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Feeling much better. Like feeling like I'm back again. And yeah, yeah, I am. I'm still, I'm still having like a sore arm, but I'm perfectly fine. Super great stuff. Hi. How's it going? Oh, how was your Friday? Super great stuff. Hi. She's a being a pain in the butt. Oh, she's a doll. I mean. Hold on, hold on. I mean, all the kids are kind of bane of the butt. How's your arm? I saw on Discord you got the vaccine. My arm still hurts. But other, th other than this, I'm perfect. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I mean, uh, the day that I got the vaccine at night, I started like around 9 p.m. or something. I started feeling a little bit, you know, drowsy. And... I just went to bed and then the shivers came. I was like, oh my god, what's happening? And after the shivers, the fever came and the fatigue came and it was a wild night. <laughs> I couldn't even go to the bathroom without someone just, you know, just leaning on something. And the next day I was better-ish. And uh today i woke up perfectly fine i mean and if I'm not off. for the sore arm i think i uh, you would not tell that i've been vaccinated but i am i'm vaccinated and i'm ready to i don't know i'm ready for corona to come because my body has been making antibodies for the past two days and it just i was squirming literally squirming in bed so I just realized that I went to Orzammar without giving the ashes to Arl Eamon, which is like, okay. <laughs> it's like, I think I forgot something. What did I forget? Oh, I wonder. So it's like, oh my god, I didn't give the ashes to Arl Eamon. This is what I was missing. Uh, my Friday has been a nice Friday as well. And it's been um, a nice one because this is the first day that I actually wake up not feeling... Oh. Your internet is being awful. 
okay let me know if it's um if one is watching let me know if it's my connection that's actually being bad because i would think that it's my connection because um this time where lots of people actually do stream some stuff on the internet so it's like i have every internet in the house turned off every every device that would have wi-fi is turned off right now so just let me know if it's it's my connection i can't see any um any alerts coming up on obs so it's fine for me okay good 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 so yeah this is the first day i wake up and i i don't feel like really tired um uh, so yay yay for your signs <laughs> Uh, I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. So, yeah, um, I'm giving our uh, This is the little one, by the way. Say hi. <laughs> okay, this is awfully silent. What's up, people? Oh, it's the magic of the urn of sacred ashes of Andraste. Oh no, oh, it's magic. Oh no, we're all saved. Where am I? Be calm. Brother. I mean, it's not magic because we tried magic and did it for a very work. long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What's what you gone? Here? Where is Isolde? Okay, I have here? this theory in my head. Connor, where is so, my I mean, boy? I'm going where to hell son? for this. He lives. For this so theory. Many others are dead. And there was much to tell this theory husband. is that Isolde Dead? and Tegan are um, having an affair. It was not a dream. And it's, much I don't know why, Ill, but I always think some of like, it will not be I don't know why, but it, it's just there then for tell me. me. I wish to hear all of it. I mean, it kind of fits. I mean, it's not, there is nothing against it, you know? There is nothing pro to it, nothing actually solid, this solidified is most the theory. Troubling. But still nothing, you know, against it. Which is like there is much okay. to be done. That is true, but I should and first I don't be like thankful Isol, to those who have done so. I, so I much. wouldn't put it past her. You know, you have not she's not saved one of my, my life, favorite people. But kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? Yeah, just help me with the blight. That will do. Yeah, exactly. I need your help with the blight. I understand. But oh my God! I you are worthy. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. Was that a fart? I don't know. I can taste it. On my tongue. <laughs> Ew. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I did fart. <laughs> it's just disgusting. <laughs> Still having gastric problems, I see. Or a smell. <laughs> oh my god. How's it going, Jorman? How is your Friday? <laughs> yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday. You it's Friday. And those oh, I can't see this arm. I've danced Champions with this arm. It's Friday. It's Friday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, walls. I can slightly move and it. And for you, Warden. Uh, a shield of the same make as those that have been uh, given to our finest knights. That bend at the out, bit at the end, disgusting. It goes like, was this, was this a fart? Yeah, I could taste it on my tongue. It's like, no, please, no, no, it's disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, as for you, warden, the shield of the same make as those that have been given our finest knights. Yeah. There is much else to do now. Indeed. We have no way of knowing what Logan will do once yeah, he learns how's of your recovery. Yeah, how is your uh, Friday, Jormungandr, other than farting all over the uh, place? The um, very I know you were bored no, today at, at your work, man. but One you're home now. What you're going to do? I was there when Remember he announced was a boring he was taking Friday control for you, of the but what you're going to do now? He is mad with ambition, yeah, I tell you. Yeah, good things just got mad back indeed. from the gym. Mad enough to kill and Caelan now it's to attempt to kill myself. And destroy my land. Oh, Whatever the gym. Oh, like they Logan again. must be stopped. What's more, so that's we can scarce afford to fight when this you think it's over. Yeah, it's like, oh, no, no, it's over. And then it's like, 
silent, o sea, <risa> casting, casting. <risa> oh, Uzi Cat, thank you, thank you for watching. We do appreciate it. <risa> oh, she's munching on an apple now. <risa> Whatever happened to him, the game must be stopped. What war we can scarce afford to fight this war with pigeons? But you can unite the nobility against Logain. Uh, what are you proposing then? We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. Uh, what, what does capitulate mean? Logain must capitulate then? I don't know what capitulate means. Uh, but once everyone learns what he's done... I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the king. But so it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give everyone. Loghain's allies pause. I think tomorrow it's going to hit a 42 a degrees. 41, 41 degrees, which we is need like... Someone with a stronger uh, claim to you. the throne than Loghain's <laughs> daughter, no, the queen. Thank you. Are you but, uh, referring to Alistair, it's gonna be crazy. Are you certain? I don't remember I if it's the war or actually if Sunday that's gonna be 41. Uh, tomorrow is going to be 36, and it's going to be 41 on Sunday, which is crazy. I'm not leaving the house on Sunday. You intend Tegan to put Alistair a as a marriage, king, but we would see no better than Logan. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for yeah, the sake of Yeah, 41 Ferelden. degrees is, is gonna be. I'm not want? leaving the house. I, I mean, good luck I... outside. I think it is like inside no, no, no. the apartment. I see only one way to proceed. Uh, um, I will call for a land. Like inside the apartment, a gathering it's of all a little of bit cold. It's chilly because it's Denneran. inside the apartment. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule in yet, one way know? or another. It's still the it's of really warm outside. Like if you begin. open a window now, it's going to, that, to be really, I do not wish to proceed really hot, like a blessing. wall of heat. But eventually, this heat is going to seep inside the apartment, and it's going to be hot inside and outside. But currently, we're fine because inside is a little bit chilly than outside. So yay! But I give it a week or two maximum until the walls start to heat, start to you know like take from the heat outside and seep in inside. And this is when we will start using the ACs. And when you start using the AC, there's a electricity bill. It's just gonna be crazy. But I mean, I we will pay for the electricity. Just turn this AC on uh, because I can't. 41 degrees is just, I can't. I mean, sometimes it will reach like 46 eventually, but we, I mean, I don't want to talk about it right now. Sorry, just on my phone at the moment, so eating. Then we'll freshen up and I'll jump on the PC. No worries at all, your Mangander. Take all the time you want. Eat, because you need food after the gem, so completely understand. Uh, what are you talking about, Arl Eamon? Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What do you say to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without my blessings. Uh, my blessings? Why do you need my blessing? None of this would be possible without you. 41 degrees. Yeah, you led Alistair here. You saved yeah. my life with the earth. Tomorrow is going ashes. to be 36, 41 on life. Sunday, and eventually I am it's going a credible to be enough 46. figure in this nation to call the land. I think my house would melt but at 41. But I hold no <laughs> illusions that I could face oh, low game. You haven't me. tried the 45. Surely you see that. Tried it once. There's always like this day each year that the temperature gets really crazy. And it's like that the Earth is trying to warn us about global warming or something. And the weather gets like 44, 45, which is, it just can't, you know, it's, you can't even breathe in this heat. It's like when you try to breathe, it's like the air is not going through. So you're trying to breathe, but it just doesn't want to go through. It's crazy. It's really crazy. And the thing is like, I mean, we're all human. We all have the same physiology. But it's like 
if I came to the UK in like sub zero degrees, I wouldn't be able to handle this. And if you come here in like 45 degrees, you wouldn't be able to handle this, even though we're the same thing. But still, it's like because I grew up in this heat, I'm kind of have a tolerance for it, but I don't have tolerance for cold weather and you are vice versa. It's really weird. I've done Egypt in August. I was hot. Yep. Yep. And uh, I don't know if you went to Alexandria in August. The humidity there is just like, <laughs> I mean, it's not as hot as Cairo. It's way better than Cairo. But the humidity there is just, oh, God, no. The humidity is just not my friend. And my hair doesn't agree there. It's just my hair starts to find gravity when the humidity rises. My hair rises as well. It's just like, uh, do you think this land's meat idea would, will work? That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the land's meat for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king, who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. Uh, it's about the Darkspawn. Ferelden must stand united to defeat the Darkspawn. A fractured nation will not defeat the Blight, even given my army and those gathered with your treaties. Oh, well, I still have the dwarves to get, so... Okay, um... What are my options? You have already found allies, but we need those to fight Darkspawn. I truly believe the Landsmeet is our best option. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain. But even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? No, but neither would Loghain. Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude. That everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital you than facing him. Hi! So that he leads us against the Horde. How's it going? Sorry, I just saw it now. <laughs> How's it going, Zayak? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, we arrived on a cruise ship, so we had air conditioning. We got off the ship into a bus for three hours to Cairo, so we probably landed in Egypt. Uh, we probably landed in Alexandria, sorry, my mind's all over the place. And drove three hours to Cairo, disappointed that the pyramids weren't fitted with an AC, it was even hotter there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the pyramids tend to be in the desert, how dare they? How dare they not have AC there, and like in the open desert? <laughs> ah, Kusan Tohib Yusuf, Rahman Karim. So yeah, yeah, it's even hotter in Cairo because it's a dry weather than Alexandria. Alexandria has this like... Um, the humidity, it's sometimes in, in summer it goes up to 90%, like 90% of the air is water, but it's like, I think I would trade Cairo's weather with Alexandra's weather anytime. Oh, uh, what's stopping Loghain from just attacking Redcliffe then? Why do you think he had me poisoned? He wanted me gone without having to confront me directly. If I call for a lands meet. <laughs> Refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. Okay, um, it seems you have little choice. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives. I still need the. I still need the dwarves. I mean, I really He's hope he dungeon, doesn't brother. actually. Have him brought here, uh, Tegan. Proceed I wish with to see the him. with the main story because I still need to deal with the dwarves. Jowan, what you have done is not. Do I need question. to reload because I will reload? Me and set into motion Can't remember a series Alexandria of events that, that nearly destroyed everything I there. <gasps> Michelle, what have you to ah, say ouch. in my defense? Hi, how's it going, Michelle? Other than to say I am sorry. Missed you. I expect no mercy for what I've done. I'm doing great, thank you, thank Ray you. Warden, have I've you been anything suffering to say from the side effect of the vaccine for the past two days. But uh, today I'm feeling way better, except for like the sore arm. But other than this, I'm vaccinated, baby! Yay! I hope you're having a great day. Yeah. Uh, he has cooperated willingly, though he has little choice. He seems earnest in his desire to repent. Oh, Bye. that is unexpected. 
And what would oh, you Oh, Siri, Siri, no one As the injured you, party, Siri. <laughs> my ability to see the merciful path is strained. How was your Friday, Michelle? Oh, you said, oh, it was okay. Um, so we have the weekend tomorrow, don't we? Or do you still work on, on Saturdays? I'm not sure. Uh, let him go, let the circle hunt him if they wish. That I cannot do. He is a Maleficar, and I cannot unleash him on a land already racked by war and chaos. I am sorry. Jowan, I hereby turn you ah, over well, to the they probably turn of the him Circle into of a, Magi. Um, May the Maker have mercy A tranquil or something. Oh, my Thank mind is all over the place today. Tomorrow I'll walk to... It now, depends. I don't have to the fix for the schedule. Ah, okay. It will take some time it sucks to that you have to work on, on weekends, though. Allies. can never decide if Ronaldo's clothes are really cool or really ugly. It's a really fine line meantime, to walk. <laughs> I, suggest you pursue the I mean, the ornaments the are okay. We will need all but the allies we can get. I mean, look at the paint. The dark spawn <laughs> I mean, literally, look at the pants. They look like jester pants. I don't know, but... Uh, are they ugly? I mean, they might not be ugly, but the tranquil are so creepy. They are, they are creepy, but I feel so bad for them. They're just... I mean, it's a horrible thing to render people tranquil. It's just horrible. And... They turn into this emotionless people and the only person that we know that actually turned from a tranquil and back into um non-tranquil had issues regulating his emotions so it's weird and the whole process is creepy um me too it's not easy being a mage in dragon age yeah exactly see sometimes i think like okay Nancy, if you wake up, if you had the choice to choose where to wake up, uh, if you wake up in a fantasy world, which one would it be? Would it be the Witcher world or Dragon Age world or Skyrim? And um, I think I would go to Skyrim, actually, yeah. because even though the mages there are kind of feared a little bit, but... I mean, with all the Skyrim belongs to the Nords BS and the racism against Dark Elves and such and the Ultima and such. But I think um, the racism in Skyrim is a little bit toned down. It's not racism, but you know, like classicism maybe here. It's like if you're a mage, then if you're a mage in Thedas, then you're like, I don't know, get somewhere it's it's hard it's hard to be a mage in, in, in dragon age but i would be a, in a better position to be a mage if if i were in skyrim uh the witcher is okay but i have this thing that i always think about it's like okay all these fantasy worlds are amazing and everything but what does the, the everything smells like because I bet things smells horrible in cities, in like Velen, for example, in the Witcher world. I mean, people are just, I don't think they bathe <laughs> as often as they should. I think people would tend to smell better in Dragon Age than any other game. Because, I don't know, but I think the Witcher universe would smell the worst. Uh, just call me crazy. I know I am because I just think about this weird stuff But uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it's not easy being a major in Dragon Age. That is true But if you have the choice to wake up in one of three world worlds, it's Thedas, it's Nirin from uh, Skyrim or it's I Don't know from the Witcher which one would you would you choose which world would you choose? Uh, okay, let me just check the journal because I am worried that actually the light is all of red cliff. You are when you're ready to leave. Oh, I'm not ready. So, an interview with David Gader where he was talking about how he wrote the background for mages in Dragon Age. It's really interesting, like how he thought it would be the natural reaction for people to kind of hear them. Uh, there's something I haven't read first of all. Uh, 
some stuff in games is just omitted i think in lots of games you also don't see the people eat yeah yeah you don't see the people eat that's true and but you actually kind of see that where they you know go to the bathroom or stuff and you could judge the <laughs> you could judge like if this place is dirty or not you know um uh, Dark spawn are just a skip. Oh, oh, you know what? I didn't even, I didn't even actually put the dark spawn into consideration when thinking about this stuff. I didn't even think about it. I just thought about the people. But yeah, the dark spawn. Oh my god, that would be the scariest stuff ever. It's like you could just be traveling from a city to city, and that's it. That's it. You will never see your family again. And it's a really dangerous place to be, yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't even put the dark spawn into consideration. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's bedtime for no, the No, it's not. I'm just hugging you. Yo, oh. yo, yo, yo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so I still need to lower the affinity of Liliana because I think her quest is not triggering because I have high affinity with her. So let's head to the camp and buy her one of the gifts that actually lowers uh, that actually lowers her what approval with it? me. You think you're a Affinity. Yeah, it's it's uh, so uh, let me yeah, uh, let me just buy her like a, a horrible gift or something. I lied to you, you know. Oh, about why oh, I left there's, oh my God, there it is. Yes. Finally! Uh, so you didn't... Why? Why did you die? I didn't feel like talking why? about it why then. Did why did what you lie? Me? Maybe it will affect us. Maybe not, but you should know. I came to Ferelden and the two Yes, this is what I was looking for. Yes! Because they were being hunted in Orlay. Oh, fascinating. Tell me more. I was framed. Betrayed by someone I thought I knew and could trust. Marjolaine. Yes, she was my mentor. Thank you, Liliana. She taught me the bardic arts, how to enchant with words and song, to carry my. Okay, so I have to say something. To Twenty-eight more days until the Mass Effect learned, Legendary Edition is released. Her, my bardmaster, because I loved her, and because I enjoyed what I did. Four more weeks, people, and today we actually learned that there's going to be a photo mode in Mass Effect Legendary Edition. So, no. oh, oh, in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I did <laughs> I was like, in the game. It's actually, I started with the tattoo in the game. It's actually, <laughs> yeah, it's actually in the game since the start. You can't actually change how your character looked like. Uh, it's like, you know, you start with it and you have to deal with the consequences with it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's called a Valsaline. All the elves that live, all the Danish elves uh, will have to have this uh, Valsaline because it honors the god that they worship. But later on, we learn something else about them. But so far, what we know about them within the Dragon Age Origins game, the tattoo honors the god that uh, you worship. So yeah, it's been it's been there all along. <laughs> so the hype on Discord, yes, it's four more weeks. I can't, I can't even. I know. I mean, I haven't actually pre-ordered it, but I will. I mean, come on. And I actually shared my because I was so hyped. I shared my uh, cosplay picture on my Instagram. I mean, it was years ago. I looked super different back then. Just try not to judge. <laughs> but uh yeah if you want you can go to my instagram and actually see my cosplay picture of commander shepherd i barely see the character from the front i guess yeah it's, it has to be a cut scene uh i don't know if i if i like pick something now you could see her face uh she claimed like to have retired my... She married a noble and inherited his wealth when he died. Does it, it turn to out those tattoos are basically just to mark out which I thought I knew her. Exactly. My devotion it's to her blinded markings. me to her less than noble it's attributes. It's slave markings. It's you actually, can say it was um, my fault. There was a man I was sent to kill. Exactly, because I, was I mean, your master, 
a master has slaves, and whomever this master worships, he brands his slaves I with found the bark of this body. god. You know, sealed documents. But so far in the story, right now, it's um, it's just uh, something to honor the gods. And then, if you Romans soulless, you get to know the fact that they are slave markings in the base game. If you don't, Romans soulless, you learn that they were slave markings in the Trespasser DLC. Ah, don't even get me started on the soulless thing because I will never shut up. I've just let me let me just pass through. Uh, <laughs> time hunt for near replicant. Yeah, I heard near near is um, having a sequel, so. Uh, I'm actually not the biggest fan of this game, haven't tried it to be honest, but I saw some videos about it and... Remake? Oh, it's not a... okay. A remake of the actually the Auto Meta game that was actually released a couple of years ago? I mean, or is it like something older? I have no idea. Yeah, I have no information about near Universe, like zero information about it. Uh, Automata was the latest iteration okay so there are uh past uh titles that i have never heard of and it's a remake oh the all the remakes are good i love remakes before it came near replicant which is getting a remake now okay i understand now thank you for enlightening me michelle really appreciate it but um it's okay you cannot help being a lower master yeah yeah i just i can't and it's just like I get the simple, I get the simple thing so I could jump on the train of lore and just keep talking. And I actually had some people say, you barely play anything on your stream, you just keep talking. So it's like, I'm, I will try to minimize it as much as I can while still, you know, fulfilling the answers and the conversations I have with my viewers. I will just try not to branch out as much. But I will try. I will try. Uh, okay. Important documents. It turns out that they were. My curiosity got the better of me. Then I cried with that I needed automata. to know what was in those Such letters. Such a beautiful story. A Marjolaine had been oh. selling all kinds of information about Orle to oh, other really? countries. Nevara and Antiva I think it's already others. on the Game Pass. I can I actually choosing. download and play it. If you say so, because... Okay, okay. I heard like people say that it's a really nice game, but I saw videos of it. The fight is a little bit weird for me, but maybe I will get into it. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's on the Game Pass, so I will lose nothing by downloading it and playing it. So maybe I'll give it a try. Uh, okay, Marjolaine had been selling all kinds of information about Orle to other countries, Nevara and Diva, among others. It was treason. It's cool to hear the lore, to be honest. I really enjoy DA lore, so it's nice to see someone. Yes, thank you. Okay, so I can speak about the lore now. Yay! <laughs> lore is the best thing ever. I mean, I have to actually appreciate how the creators of these universes would just sit there. All the writers, everyone who worked on this game, Fairuz. So, um... What I was saying was that, uh, yeah, they sit down and they create a universe that has history, that has future in it, that has present, and you could actually help shape it. And it's it's amazing. The Dragon Age lore is amazing. It goes so back, like so back in history. And I mean, I enjoy other games' lore as well, but there's something about Dragon Age lore that is different. I don't know what, but it's it always seems like the Dragon Age lore is well established. I always feel like it's real. I know it's not real, of course, but I always feel like it could be. It it. I mean, I don't know. I can't explain it, but I really wish that this was true and I was there. I really wish I was the warden. I really wish that I was the inquisitor. I really wish that. No, I really don't wish that I was Hulk. Hulk had an awful life. 
I mean, Hulk had a really hard life. I would not wish to be Hulk. But still, I would wish to see these people, to to read the history. It's it's just an amazing, amazing universe. Lord Nurse Squad Assemble! Woo! <laughs> oh my god. I just, I can't, I can't stop talking about it. It's amazing. I love it. I mean, I love the lore of Mass Effect as well, and I'm well, like, educated about the lore of Mass Effect as well, but the thing is, the lore for Mass Effect is actually the lore of humanity plus whatever we found in the year. So it's basically, Shepard is a human, there's nothing fancy about about it. The fancy stuff is in the future, it's science fiction, it's it's... It's not, maybe I'm just a dragon nerd or something. I love the Mass Effect universe as well, but the Mass Effect universe is our universe. It just, you know, got saved by the Prothean discovery on Mars in year whatever. But before that, it was just us, you know? There's nothing, there's nothing, you know, like captivating about it. But um, I still enjoy it. I still enjoy the lore about, uh, the lore of every game I play. Okay, what are you talking about, Liliana? Uh, so, it's just Orle. My life has barred, <laughs> taught me that my loyalties should be kept fluid. My concern was not that she was a traitor, but that her life would be in danger if she was caught. Orle has been at war with so many countries, it takes a harsh view of such things, as I later discovered. Uh, most countries don't appreciate treason. Did you give the documents to someone? To Marjolaine. No one else. I resealed them and gave them to her, as she had instructed. I should have left well alone, but I didn't. I had to tell Marjolaine I feared for her life. She brushed aside my concern. She admitted her guilt, but said it was in the past. That is why the documents had to be destroyed, she said. I believed her. I kept believing up till the moment they showed me the documents, altered by her hand. To make me look the traitor. Oh, Marjolaine. Who's they? The Orlesian guards. They captured me. Did terrible oh, things. Oh, no, Liliana, I guess why you're so creepy. I love you so much, Liliana. I really it do. It was a traitor's punishment I endured. You're my favorite woman. And at the end of it, you're a little bit all that awaited me was eternity older. in an unmarked grave. Oh, no. At the end of it, all that waited me was eternity and oh no that's horrible and you never sought revenge on Marjolaine for this no survival was my only concern at the time the skills Marjolaine taught me were good for something at least I broke free when I saw the opportunity I did not seek Marjolaine out if she thought I was coming for her she would have me caught again oh Oh, oh my god, look at the replies. And so you ran away like a coward. Like, who would say this? Who would say something like this? I was like tempted this? to confront her. I was furious. Poor Liliana, betrayed. she had a tough life. Yeah. But what could I do against her? It's and horrible so I fled to being Ferelden, betrayed like to the this. the Chantry and the Maker. Ferelden protected my person, and the Maker saved my soul. And that is the reason I am here. The real reason. No more lies between us, at least in this. Is having you here a threat to us? Thank you for trusting me with this. Your past is going to catch up to you, to ca catch up <laughs> to catch up to you eventually. You will be safe in my company. Uh, I think this is kind of flirtatious. I don't want to take this. I don't want to give the wrong signs, especially that Liliana is one of those people who just jump onto your romance and she will go like, "Is there something going between you and Alistair?" Yeah. Why are you asking? And it then she was like, she's chest. going to disapprove. Thank you for listening and understanding. Okay, I think now, if I travel, now, if I travel, I would actually trigger the quest now because I had this talk with her. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected and with your discount. Come on, Bodan, come on. Okay, I am going to sell you lots of stuff, Bodan. Like, this is my party inventory. Uh, I don't need this, but...
buy. I don't need this. Um, mm -mm -mm. Uh, firebolt and use a crystal. How about arbor? Ancient elven helm. Buy. Soldier helm. Buy. Temper helm. Okay, bye, both of you. Bye. Bye. Reinforced by hardened by I think splint mail boots, scale boots, chain mail. Uh I think Oh, I need to go also to the guy in Denerim to give him the Drake Drake skin so I could actually have a dragon armor. Redcliffe Elite Shield. I will keep this to Alistair. Pure bitch braids. Large blood. Okay. How about these stuff here? Um Restriction Zebron. Zero Charm. Joan, what's up? Today we are watching you on TV. Very fancy and very big. I don't know who Joan is, but <laughs> It's a oh I'm on TV. Hold on, hold on. We're we're on TV, people. Okay, okay. Let me just make sure that I mean I don't have my hair fancy today and everything. How do I look on TV? <laughs> I'm very big. Oh, wish that says you can double click on one of these items to sell them. <gasps> no way. Oh my God. Where have you been? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh my god! <laughs> I look great. I know, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> thank you, thank you. This is it, one. Say hi. <laughs> oh my god, I can act. Oh my god, Bushted, thank you. Oh my god. That you should have told me this way before. Oh my god, this is so much easier! Ah! Bye! This is so much easier! Okay, I don't know what a lifestone is. I don't know what these stuff are, so bye, bye. That's why Bushet is a queen. Ah, oh, Bushet is the empress of the PCs, not the queen. Oh, just lousy queen? No! She's the empress of the PC gaming. 9.6, 9 and 8, so why? Bye, I'm keeping this. Um, you know what? I'm setting this as well. How about armor? Um, it's tier 3 and this is tier 6, so selling tier 3. Uh, tier 1, tier 1. Um... Oh, this is for the... Okay, steel, buy. Leather, buy. Oh my god, thank you so much for this double-click thingy. Oh my god, where have you been all my life? <laughs> Just, I always keep dra dragging it here, dragging it here. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now that we have the talk with Liliana and... I just I'm just saying that I forgot to actually um, go give the ashes to our Eamon, so I forgot about this guy here. But yes, the start of this stream was like, okay, I have to go to uh, to Redcliffe and give the guy the ashes because the guy is dead there. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, no, I'm not giving coins. Such Crudent. a force has not been seen since the collapse of the Tevinter in Tyr. All right, so let's try to travel and see if we could trigger now the quest for Liliana. Engine. Liliana? Yes. Yes. Horse feathers. Horse feathers. Yes. I didn't mean to click you out when... You are my favorite healer. Okay, let's go to Denerim. Come on, come on, Liliana. Come on. Yes. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, I 
really hope so. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. You're welcome, girl, and thanks for making me feel so damn good, but oh, you should. I mean, come on! <laughs> Why shouldn't you? Have you seen you? <laughs> come on! Oh, no, 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 you don't! You didn't! A potion! Oh, she disappeared! Oh, the little. <gasps> oh, freaking mage! Oh my god, are we all going to die a slow and a horrible death? Probably. Where's the mage? Look at the mage, look at the mage, look at the mage, sleep yes. mage. Okay. Die witch! Hey! Where are you going? Oh my god, Alistair's dead. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Uh, revive Alistair. Oh Come on, come on, come on, win! Come on, win! Revive him! Thank you, Alistair. Drink one of these. Your daughter looks like our love child. Your hair, white glasses. I would be so proud. Love you to all. I love you. Oh, we love you too as well. <laughs> My hair, your glasses. <laughs> oh, she's. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, you didn't. Is this like. Oh, this is not my dog. And I actually thought that this is my dog. You do look so cute. I love you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Boshite. I love you so. Okay, because I always get like weird when people compliment me. It's like, mm, so it's you. So it's you. Okay, okay. I thought that this was my dog. And I regret this what is, must be done. This is In very bad. This is very bad. That this is very, very bad. This is extremely bad. Come on, come on. Dude, just freaking die. This stupid dog needs to die. I'm sorry, but you do. Let's make this quick. All right. Let's go. Oh, what? Let's go. Okay. Far too old for this. Yeah, seriously, Warden. Right then. Stop. Don't kill yes, him. Yes, it is Liliana's quest. What? Why not? He is no common bandit. None of them were. Their weapons and armor are of fine make, and they are well trained. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who are you? <coughs> Someone who regrets taking you on. I was told it would be an easy job. Kill the little red-haired girl. Deal with the others as we pleased. Red-haired girl. Kill the... You came to kill me? The redhead girl. Where's Iron Bull? Oh, Wanbro, hi! How's it going? I am very well, thank you very much. I just recovered from the side effect of the vaccine, but I am ready to roll. Except for my arm. My arm is not 100% ready, but the rest of my body is ready to go. <laughs> See you online, but got to lurk. Parents over, but hope you're having tons of fun. No worries at all. Say hello to the parents for me, and I really hope that uh, you enjoy. Uh, oh well, I'm sorry. Thank you for the lurk, and say hello to the parents for me, and I hope all is well over there. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate the lurk, and I'm having so much fun. I'm sorry, my brain is all over the place, but I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> no one threaten my friends and live. Wait, just one second. Who sent you? Why am I wanted dead? <laughs> I don't pay to ask why someone wants someone else dead. I just need to know what to do and where to get my money. Ha! Money. I'll be lucky to get away with my life, it seems. <laughs> Maybe we could work something out. 
You like the idea? Well, I spared Zivran Speak when quickly. he... I've no real quarrel with you. Wasn't me that wanted you dead. But I know I love that the cat the is just sitting does. in a box. And it's a tall box, so only her head is peeking out of it. And the dog is walking. Pixie. And the dog is walking and the cat is just like... <laughs> she keeps standing on her hind legs and slap the dog when she's walking. And the dog walks the other side and she's like slap it with, the, with her other hands. It's like... <laughs> cats are weird. <laughs> cats are seriously weird. <laughs> she just... <laughs> Yeah, I have a Princess Peach Kitty. I don't know if I can actually show her to you. Hold on, let me try. Okay, let's just see. Oh! Oh, the camera stopped working! No! Oh no, the camera stopped working! Oh! Oh, did the camera break? Did I break the camera? Oh no! <laughs> Can you actually see the carol? It's... Oh no, I don't know what happened. Let me try to refresh. How do I actually refresh this? Uh, if I pick this... I don't know what happened. Oh no, the camera... Oh, I shouldn't have moved it. Should I? Uh, okay, if I take it off and on again... Oh, it still doesn't work, does it? Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I broke the camera. That was Carl for exposing the cat. She's an Egyptian goddess. Exactly. How dare I? Okay, if I actually deactivate it and activate it again, it still doesn't work. So if I... Okay, let's try, let's try this. I'm going to take it off and add a new... Uh, video capture device and create a new one. Oh, hi, hi, here I am, here I am. Oh, yeah. Uh, so let's just pick the resolution. It's going to be the highest one and it's going to be 30 and... Okay, so let's just, uh, that's a really big me. Let's just make it a little big smaller like this and a giant me okay we need to fit it now Ugh, okay that's gonna be a little bit tricky i'm still going to ex oh she's out of the box now stupid kitty like after all this and she's out of the box oh no oh no i messed up i messed up oh <laughs> Okay, the square is ruined now, so I'm gonna take it off. Okay, it's just gonna be me now. Okay, let me just try to adjust it again. I'm sorry for this. I just wanted to show off the kitty, but it's karma. It is karma, just like K-Star said. Okay, it's a little bit up like this. I don't know, it's not as... I shouldn't have done anything. I shouldn't have touched the camera. Okay, I'm, I'm out of focus. Just put it like this. And okay, we're good to go. You can see me well now, okay? Right? Just no border around my, uh, my camera thingy. Okay, so if the cat comes here, I'm going to show her to you, but... I could actually move the camera again, but I, I think it's, it's a karma, just like how K-Star said, it's, it's a punishment because I was trying to expose, you know, the, the kitty. We just put this here. All right. Okay, so back to the game. Uh, your life for the information then. Well, I have some directions written down. You angered the gods. Yeah, the exactly. House. I Team angered Denver. the gods. Yeah. I did. She's like, what are you it's doing, human? I, I shall smite you. Thank you. <laughs> now leave. I never want to see you again. Um. Get lost before we change our minds. Don't worry. I will not trouble you no more. 
I angered the gods. It's Marjolaine. It has to be. Uh, why now? Maybe someone saw me. Maybe she's finally found me and wants to finish what she started. We should go to Dunrim to confront her. Perhaps it's time to settle this score for good. I think um, the only quest that I'm actually missing right now is Zifrance. The only side quest, I mean. Uh, Canary Mercenary. Uh, salute this guy, and this guy, yes. and this guy. And I'm off. And... How do I get down there? Ooh, you're me. You're me. Oh, drink a potion or hydrate. There we go. I mean, I'm still out, like, I should scoot like this. Should I? Yeah, oh, okay, much better. I'm in the center of the camera now. Okay, it's the little one's bedtime, so let me just tell her... Yeah. 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 <laughs> Bye! Right, all fresh now. Welcome back, welcome back, Jormungandr. Did you play Wind's second quest with the former apprentice? I didn't even play the first quest. <laughs> no, 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 what do I need to do this? Oh, no, I... I really suck, don't I? Like, I completely forgot about everything about this game because I didn't play it for, like, a couple of years. Mwah! <laughs> Go yeah, in. it's a bedtime now. Ugh, don't go hard. <laughs> Is this... Oh, What's on your mind? I, nothing. I wanted nothing. I... It is no trouble. I just wanted to loot the, the death root win, but... Okay, uh, Kesar, you have to tell me what do I do to oh, get right. Wayne's quest. Like, all I got from her is, like, when she fell down after a battle. And I had to talk to her. No! Okay. Just need to do a PC restart. Okay. You have to talk to Win about living in the circle until she tells you about her imperfections. She will admit that she was very unfair with a young mage and he ran away and broke his <gasps> Okay, okay. Do I have to be in, in camp to do this or... I can talk to her now? Yes. Because I, I believe I actually talked to her about her life in the, in the circle and she said What's that she... Um, she said that she was very, when she was like 15, she was angry and the uh, Chantry sister told her like we all have our lives and bullshit like this. Oh, and bull crap like this. Uh, and you find him in the Persian forest. Oh. Why don't I remember anything about this quest? Like zero. I will answer to the best of my ability. Oh, I have nothing. Should I be in the... Should I be in camp? I could try and go to the camp and try to talk to her there. Okay, I think that continue will actually take us to Denerim, but I could go back to camp oh. and talk to her. Or should I take her and go to uh, Persilian Forest? Maybe it will trigger there. Okay, uh, so let's go back to camp. Yes. Nope. No, he only triggers after the talk. Okay. I think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. This is... Now she's gonna tell me about the spirit. Uh. You should know that something happened to me at the tower. So Before basically, when is a zombie? Remember my apprentice, Petra. She encountered a demon in the tower. It would have killed her had I not intervened. I saved her life that day. But I did not survive that encounter with the demon. <laughs> You're undead. <laughs> That's a really bad joke, Quinn. Uh, this case of death is taking a while to kick in the... <laughs> Oh my god, I just love their plight. <laughs> I love their plight. Oh my god. Let me explain fully. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. 
It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my this life. This is your Twitch chat away. automatic alert. Ugh. Everything receded <laughs> from me. Sound. A mischievous light. presence. I presence being has entered the stream. Oh God! Everyone hide your children. Hide everything. Oh my God! Everyone run away. Holding me and cradling <laughs> me, whispering quietly to me. The sensation is. Impossible to describe. Hi, Flashy. I was being How was your Friday, Flashy? Only, but gently, as a mother with I mean, a child, have mercy on me. I mean, grasp. I've been. I felt life. I've been sick. Flowing through my veins I mean, again. I, I had a vaccine I and I've been sick for two days, Flashy. And the discomfort of my Please. hip pressing into the cold stone <laughs> of the tower floor. <laughs> I felt life and war. Flowing through my veins again, I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. So you were never really completely dead then? The Fade contains spirits both benevolent and malicious. After the telling everyone to hide their kids from known, me, because you they please want nothing be from mortals, unlike the demons. You know what? I don't it care, Freshie. Bring it me. on! Without it. I would be Ugh, dead. my arm hurts. And Bring it has it not on, left me. Flashy. It is with me, even now, <laughs> bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this Were you is dead when? Yes, but also things. no. <laughs> Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening uh. gradually. I oh, cow meme, hi! Hi, cow meme. Very nice to have you as always. <sighs> Okay, so I have to finish every sentence with K star and I also have to drink. So this is for you, Cal Meme. And thank you for hydrating me. And now it's gonna be a whole lot a whole lot of K stars. <laughs> okay, K star, okay. Uh how long will the spirit last? I do not K -Star? know. K star. <laughs> I can feel when the spirit weakens, so I should have fair warning. But come, let us not talk about this. There is time yet. Okay, K-Star. What's on your mind? Um, I'd like to ask you something about the circle, K-Star. I will answer to the best of my ability. Oh, there's nothing. Oh, nice water cup. Do you have a blue one? I actually have red, yellow blue purple and pink i bought them all from ikea and there were like six of them on top of each other but yellow is my favorite color so it's always yellow <laughs> uh i said the f word oh no that's confusing now now i feel like i am win k star oh are you i still can't she's still not telling me about the guy k star very nice, I apologize for my potty mouth. It's perfectly fine. I didn't actually see the... I did actually see the F word come up. So maybe it's like the bot. It's perfectly fine. I got censored anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's probably the bot because I, I didn't actually see it. K-Star. Now, you will now be in every other character in the game soon. K-Star. Uh, welcome back, Jormungandr. Welcome back. You restarted the PC. So, welcome back. Let's see if Wynn's approval is high. No, it's not high enough. So, maybe if I give her something that she likes, she's going to open up about the kit, K-Star. What's on your mind? Uh, maybe you're talking to her. I have always had an affinity for the spirits. Maybe the if fate. she talks a bit about As the spirits, I never feared star. my dreams. Because I knew they were there. <laughs> uh, what about demons? I could sense the demons too, and their presence frightened me. It was the kindly spirits of the Fade that took the fear from me. I've always been able to feel the spirits, even if I never saw them. <laughs> and as I nurtured my talent in the circle, I became more sensitive. It's complaining. I, can't I began to notice something. every time I, I was in the Fade, in. whether it was in a dream or in I'm magical so practice, sorry. <laughs> that I was being watched. K-Star. 
Do spirits watch people like that? I suppose they must. It is these benevolent spirits K-Star? that create our dream worlds <laughs> and fade. Sometimes I would see it. Finally, guys. A glowing, yes, nebulous form. Most times I would just feel its presence. Guys, 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 guys. Gentle, I know I said it once, but I'm going but to say it again. Alien. Four more weeks until Mass Effect Legendary it. Edition comes out. And before. it has a picture mode. But something Hallelujah, God's in the sky. It always felt this is like awesome. the same entity. <laughs> this one spirit was curious about me and was guarding Mass me Effect, for want of a better um, word. Legendary edition. It's like the remaster of the old trilogy. And they added like a photo mode to the game, which is like, okay, I know now that I will not play the game as much as take pictures in it. So, yay. So, piping out for Mass Effect. I will never stop piping out Mass Effect. This will never happen. Everyone should stay always hyped for Mass Effect. K-Star. I have time off work booked for... Exactly. You have you have to take time off your work, your family, your whatever. You have to take time off because... Oh my god, blasphemy has been spoken in my channel, everyone. And I encourage everyone to get the pit, to get the pitchforks and start running after your Mangander. Because... Yeah, exactly. Ban your Mangander. <laughs> <laughs> K-Star. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot to say K-Star so now. K-Star, K-Star, K-Star. So, like, for the three sentences that I haven't addressed K-Star. So, now we all have to get our pitchforks and torches and start to march towards your Manganders. Wherever he is. K-Star. Because he, 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 he just he just said something horrible about Mass Effect and something that I will never say say again and repeat on this channel. No way. You know, you Mangander. <laughs> there were times when I was in the fade. Ain't hey, nobody got time for that. Uh, oh, oh, Keeping no. What do you mean? And I think it gave me strength hold on, hold on, I haven't read the messages. Okay, it's going so fast. Uh, Yo, Megan, do you have some sort of a death wish? Exactly! What are you doing coming here and insulting a game of Bioware? Like, what are you talking about? Ain't nobody got time for that. We all got time for Mass Effect. And we don't have time for Mass Effect. We make time for Mass Effect. This is the law. This is what everyone should do. Because this is Mass Effect. So, come on. <laughs> That's an ancient meme. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Bunny, we are now waging war against Yorman. Mr. Buffles, hi! Dixie! Dixie! Mr. Buffles! Mr. Oh, the cute doggy. Look at her. Look at her. She's so cute, isn't she? Oh, she needs. Oh, welcome, Mr. Buffles. Me, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh, she she doesn't want. To <laughs> She's the cutest. Don't lick me. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, the good girl. Oh, yeah, it's doggy hype. Doggy hype. Huh? Yes, this good girl. Okay, now, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, sorry, oh, sorry about this. She, she hit the microphone. She demands more pets, and she's like, okay. She, is she looking? Is she looking? <laughs> The thing is, like, the cat has, like, some sort of a vendetta against her. I don't know. <laughs> she left because the cat is, like, she's hiding behind, like, her box. And she's, like, you know, doing the wiggle. The thing that cats do, like, the wiggle. And she just keep bouncing on the dog and attacking her for no reason. Summon the doggo again. Okay, okay. Pixie. Pixie. Oh, no. <laughs> There she is! Oh, so cute! 
He confused the dog. Go now. Come now. Go now. Oh. Fix it. No. <laughs> oh, the cute doggy. Okay, I mean, she would just stay there if she wishes, but she just leaves to go sit in her bed. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is going to confuse the poor doggy because I will keep saying her name. Oh. <laughs> okay, Flashy has gamed the system. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, okay, Pixie. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, I could do something. Hold on. So now, <laughs> if I actually, okay, move this way, you could actually see her. Pixie, no! You could always see her in the background. How about this? I could actually move the camera a little bit. And if I sit like this, you could actually see me and see the doggy. So how about this, Pixie? You could actually see the cat. I no, you could you can't. But she's just standing right next to where Pixie is, and she's just you know doing the the cat wiggle like when they wiggle their butts, and she's just <laughs> bouncing on her. But yeah, she's just taking a break. Perfect solution. Now, so now you see Nancy and you see Pixie, and there's a cat somewhere that she's gonna appear when the gods allow it. You know. <laughs> Oh my god you are a great gaming hostess thank you thank you i try i try it's like you can find your video games you can find dogs you can occasionally find cats you find lore you find everything everything you need is here in my channel everyone the cat is busy being a cat yeah exactly she is being a cat attacking weird stuff like weird imaginary stuff and she has her ears like going like this. It's, it's really weird. <laughs> my favorite color. The chair is a lore store. <laughs> I try my best. I do try my best. <laughs> as I said, the Dragon Age streams are there f as an outlet for my lore. I don't know, thing that is growing in lore monster that is growing on me. So, uh, yeah, thank you for listening to me and thank you for joining me so you could hear me babble all day long about lore because this is awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, what was one win talking about? And I think it gave me a strength in my most terrible battles. Ostagar being one of them. Hold on a minute. How come the spirit was helping Wynne before she possessed her. It's because she know she knew her before the possession? Okay, that's interesting. And also in your fight with Petra's demon. I don't know why I was chosen. Perhaps oh, so she was like was a companion. She was like a friend of her. I like to think that and I was given a And when she died, chance. this friend came in and helped her. I'm going to make the best of the time okay. so generously given to me. Um, I'm glad you think traveling with me is worthy of your time. I will not lie motionless in a bed with coverlets up to my chin, waiting for death to claim me. That is not the death for me. And so I will fight alongside the Grey Warden and help prepare her <laughs> for the task that is yet before her. So you had better listen to me. Because I swear, if I should fall before the end and you don't seem to be doing things properly, oh. I'll get up again to give you a good, good finger, finger wagging. wagging. <laughs> I'll hold you to that promise. You know, I think you'll be all right 
even without my help. Okay, I think I need to raise Wind's affinity a little bit so she could give me the quest, all right? So let's try to give her a gift, shall we? Let's buy her love. When I give you a thoughtful gift. Most kind. Still? Nothing? No. Oh. What's on your mind? Uh, I'd like to ask you something about the circle. I will answer to the best of my ability. Oh. Okay, I wonder what, which one of the gifts actually give her just five approval instead of ten. Because I believe ten is so much. Uh, right now we are at 46. So I need to give her like only five approval points to get her to 50 or something. Because I don't want to overshoot. Because if you overshoot, you will not get the quest. What's on your mind? No, 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 I, nothing, nothing. You just try and give her another. It's just save. I haven't saved since I started playing this day. Oh my god, I'm horrible at this. Uh, okay. Let's give her another gift. Come on. Most kind. Yes, I think she should give me What's on your mind? I will answer to the best of my ability. Oh, there's nothing here! Oh, what's up with this? Okay, uh, I will just take her with me to the Persilian forest and see what happens. Maybe we need to go there first. I have no idea. Nancy, a fair warning. I don't think the mission with Apprentice will log as a quest. It's more like she mentions it and then you can meet him in the forest. It won't be in the journal not that I remember. Did you get the random encounter when everyone dies yet? Then when revives you or something? Well, the only encounter that we all die was in the Persilian forest where there's a camp that is being haunted by a shade, but this was ages ago. I don't think I even had Win with me when I did it. And I had this random encounter with her uh, that she fell down and like almost died or something. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. And then she had to talk to me about the spirit and tell me. But I don't think that we all died and wind revived us. I don't believe so. First, you have to have another random encounter with Win in the party and finish her first quest. There is one where the whole party falls down and Win helps. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to accept and going to reload. To reload this before I give her the last... Um, before I gave her the last gift because I know that sometimes when you give so much gifts and raise the approval so high you miss some quests so I'm going to keep it like this and keep traveling with Win and see what happens all right uh... okay I need Liliana Indeed. to go to dinner room with me I need to pick and lose the dog yes when yes. and alistair i'm already in denerim so there will no there will be no traveling but let's just go to the brazilian forest and then back and hope this will trigger it come on come on be it is this it is this a quest Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Go, Grandma. Go, Grandma. Win. Woo! Okay. Okay. Just everyone, just calm the freak down. Where's the mage? We need to get uh, rid of this guy. Ah! 
Okay, okay, okay. We need to get to the mage. We need to get to the mage. Let's make this quick. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sleep. There we go. <laughs> Okay, okay, come on. Come on, come on. We can do this, we can do this. Let's get rid of the Herlock. Herlock Omega. That's a big Herlock. Okay, I think I'm going to die. Oh crap, it's the flies. Or whatever the thing around me. I can't get healed. I am going to die. Da, 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 da. Air. Why is it always me that has to bleed? Why is it always me that has to bleed? Win. Revive me, please. And I will control. The Here I am. Nice, nice. There we go. Uh, injury kit. Thank did you. Did I fall asleep during the combat? Yeah, you, you did. Have. You did kind of fell asleep during the combat, yeah. That's exactly what happened. Uh, I think there are actually more dark spawn over there. Never any shortage of these ones. And I'm off. I think the voice actress for my warden is the same voice actress that does Isolde. Her name is Isolda in Skyrim in White Run. It's a fine day with you around. I think it's the same sound. I could be mistaken. Ah. Okay, okay, how about this guy? Deal, deal, deal! Oh, I actually didn't do what um, Flashy did. He actually asked me to keep saying the word pixie over and over again. So I will have to. Well, I owe you this flashy, so I will start it now. Fun. Okay, Pixie. I, mean, I think that's really going to confuse her. <laughs> yeah, okay, I will start it now. I'm sorry I forgot about it because I had to get up and get her bed. Oh, mm. Pixie. That was interesting and draining. I don't think she heard me. <laughs> uh, what was that? Did you summon the spirit? I called forth the spirit that sustains me. Pixie. So that it could lend us aid. Does it like a, yeah, because I I'm saying in a really, it really low voice. It's like it you're right. It's the same the voice time. actress. Ah, oh, is she right? It's a fine day with you around. She has this like signature. <coughs> excuse me. Signature voice that I really love. Oh my god, I have good ear. Don't die. <laughs> Uh, it seemed a good idea at the time. If a little rash, I think it may be, it may have weakened the spirit a little. Uh, makes sense. Anyway, I feel quite all right now. And it seems that my little trick could be useful in a pinch. Pixie. Oh my god, she's looking. <laughs> uh, I don't want you exerting yourself, Pixie. I promise, I'll be careful. Aww. And thank you. <laughs> Your concern is touching. Okay, so still nothing from Wynn so far, Pixie. Okay, she's not noticing it, which is good. Uh, okay, okay, bunny. Go lurk on. all you want. I have no bro. All the lurkers are welcomed here. La 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 la. Pixie. Oh, she doesn't seem to notice. It's weird. I mean, usually when I'm asleep and Going. I just like, you know, turn when I'm sleeping, she would hear it and come running because, oh my god, you're waking up, you're waking up. But now I actually tend to say Pixie. Mandy, we're so sorry, but we have a date with a friend, so we will lurk now, but we will have an eye on the screen, so call out when you need help. No worries at all. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. And have fun with the date with a friend. Uh, apparently, she did the background voices for Mass Effect 3 too. Oh, she did. That's awesome. And enjoy your uh, friend date. Yeah. You do that. And thank you for lurking. 
Pixie? Nothing, nothing. She's just completely ignoring me. <laughs> okay, I think there are some loot up there where I killed the Horlock Omega. There we go, Lyrium Potion. Oh, El Fruit? No, that's Death Fruit. Oh! Desire is my command. Uh, thank you, Alistair, but never mind. Uh, call my name when you want me to look at the screen. See you, have fun. No worries at all. You too, have fun. Bye. Uh, Pixie. Oh. I keep saying, oh, she's going to notice me now. She's going to, like, now redeem k at the end again. Oh, no, don't do this. She has stuff to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Which way is pervert? Oh, right. Okay, now, so uh, I have the thingy with Win. Maybe I should head back to camp maybe to talk to her about this and she would give me the quest well she didn't say anything but i could go talk to her what's on your mind i will answer to the best of my ability oh still nothing well cow me what's on me. your mind well, I'm not going to tell the woman that if there's something we could do, we could do to cure you. I mean, she's not sick or anything. It is no trouble. And you can't actually cure death, so. Okay, so let's head to Denerim. I mean, I wrote in the stream title that I'm going to Orzammar, but it doesn't look like I will be. Yes. Alistair, Wynn, yes. and Indiana. Indeed. Let's go to Denerim. And for real this time. Let's just get over with the Morgel Lane quest. Come on. Man, I don't know. Just remember I got the win quest last week. Yeah. It's okay. No worries. That's a lot of dark spots. What is happening here? Oh my god, an ogre. Sleep over, sleep, sleep. Yes. One ugly SOB. Oh my god, crap. Step, step, step. Don't do Okay. Uh, how about this Genlock over there? Take care, everyone. Oh, you have to go. Okay. Thank you, Michelle, for joining in. I really appreciate it. Yeah, have fun. Take care. Uh. Okay, so let's go kill this again, but I think there's something else somewhere in here. Now we go into the Alright, good job, good job everyone. GG, GG. Going. Bloody corpse has elf fruit. Bloody corpse has elf fruit. Nice, nice. I mean the elf fruit didn't do much to help you. You know, but thank you. Uh, Genlock. Hmm. Oh, health potions. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. I don't use this. Oh, just money. Well, okay, can't complain. Night corpse. Hmm. Uh, greenstone. There's a Genlock over here. Oh, potions. Yes, now we're talking. I don't have uh, Morrigan with me, so potions are kind of hard to come by. There we go. Elf fruit, elf fruit, and return path. So let's get this off. It could be a bug. There's supposed to be an option to ask her about her past. I think I already asked her about about something in the circle and she said that she had this um talk with a chantry sister or something and she thought that oh i know everything and 
that the sister is all talking about load of crap and that's that's not what she meant to uh because she was young she was like 15 or something but she did not mention anything about an apprentice so i think i don't know i don't know i could actually take her for a walk into the Persian forest maybe it triggered that i wasn't paying attention i don't know so what's up with oh, my warden Veneren. if we have time i would like to look for marjolaine we have a score to settle why is my warden running around denerim holding two knives okay <laughs> have you talked to everyone in the dalish camp uh and i'm off behind you to be honest when i went into the dalish camp and did the elf thingy i didn't have win with me so i may have missed talking to them when she is with me you know what i mean so i could go back oh marjolaine there she is Liliana. Liliana. Oh, so lovely to see you again, thank my you, dear. Thank you, thank you, thank Spare you, thank you, thank you. Spare me the pleasantries. Coffee's here, everyone. Coffee, oh, coffee, you coffee, must coffee. excuse the shabby accommodations. I try to be a good host, mm. but you see what I have to work with. This country smells like coffee. wet dog. Oh everywhere. my god, it's like I cannot it's get the smell my soul. out. Even now, it is in my hair, <laughs> my clothes. Ugh. This country smells like wet dog everywhere. I cannot get the smell out. Even now, it's in my hair, my clothes. <laughs> Ferelden doesn't smell like wet dog. Of course, you don't notice it. Yeah, you wallow in the time, muck with your time. piece so much, you are used to their scent. I am not here to discuss Ferelden's odor, Marjolaine. You framed me, had me caught and tortured. I thought that in Ferelden I would be free of you, but it seems I am not. What happened to make you hate me so? Oh, Liliana is so Why cute. You I mean, I don't care if she's creepy. Dead. She's adorable. I just love I her so much. I know you, my Liliana. I know what you are capable of. Four or five men you can dispatch easily. They were sent to give you cause to come to me. And see? Which do you think Here Antiva you is most similar to Spain or Italy? Italy. I always thought it was... I always said people in, in Antiva speak with an Italian accent and then people were like no they speak with Spanish accent but I don't know I could be mistaken but it's it's Italy it's definitely Italy if it has like uh, I mean Spain does have these beautiful buildings and such but Italy I mean I'm looking forward actually to travel and see other cities in in Thedas but the one that I'm looking forward the most is Antifa because I am picturing it that it's gonna be as perfect as Rome. <laughs> so, um, and this is, I'm not saying anything bad about Spain or anything, but I think it's going to resemble Italy more. I thought it was the Spanish accent, but Vincento in Dragon Age 2 is an Italian name and he uses Italian words. I'd love to see Navar. Vincent, who's Vincent? Isn't he the guy who helps, who helps Hawk to get into the city? I can't remember. It's been a couple of years. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I think oh, when I mean when Ziffer was speaking, I thought like he has an Italian accent. But I, I mean, I probably mistaken because I haven't spoken to either Italian or Spanish people <laughs> before, so I don't know. And. Uh, Nevara. I mean, I would like to see it as well. Of course, I would like to see everywhere. But I think Nevara is gonna be a gloomy place. It's all about dead people, isn't it? Like, there's like, they revere their dead so much for my liking, you know? It's like, and the death magic, and you know, like, corpses. And if you actually read, um, one story of the winter nights there's actually someone saying things um i don't want to spoil it but there is a spirit that it doesn't know that its host is dead so it's just continuing living it's kind of weird i don't know Sento is the father of the half elf boy who can go to the dalish oh yeah yeah oh he speaks with an italian accent and he says italian words so it's, yeah yeah, they're a bit odd. Yeah, Nevara is a bit, a bit weird. 
I would actually love to see it because I would love to see anything new. I would love to see the winter as well. And but I don't know. It's, I feel like in Nevara, our character, whichever is gonna get cold, is going to have lots of fun. You know, it's Nevara, so it's like when in Rome. You know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, if it goes, if if my character goes to Spain. <coughs> Excuse me. If my character goes to Spain, uh, to Spain, oh, to Navarra, they're going to have to do something there. If my character go to um, the winter, they have a task or a quest to do there. But if my character goes to Navarra, my character is going there to have fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like every other place is just there's like something serious going on, but I don't think there's lots of serious stuff going on Navarra, but. I just, I just, you know, like, I want to go there. <laughs> uh, they were sent to give you a cause to come to me and see here you are. You could have just sent a letter. Ignore what she says. She's lying. I know how she works. What are you up to, Marjolaine? Why are you in Ferelden? In truth, you have knowledge that you can use against me. For my own safety, I cannot let you be. Oh, I would In like to think, see you try, Marjolaine. Did, did you think I would not watch, my Liliana? What is she up to, I thought? The quiet life, the peasant clothes, hair ragged and messy like a boy. Oh, don't you yeah, insult my girl. You were planning something. Oh, like my God, how so dare she? I the line, the but witch, no and the audacity sent. of no this B word. Like, seriously. Clever, Liliana. Very clever. You almost had it me It would be amazing to see but the winter. I remember reading that the whole so building suddenly. in Minerathus are what basically healed by magic. Oh my god. I you tell me. The magic in the winter that we are going to encounter I still have some plan is just for, for gonna revenge? be mind-blowing. You are insane. Paranoid. The stuff that we are going to see that we haven't seen in past games, magic-wise. Interventure is going to be crazy. We get snippets of it at the book, but it's crazy. People there do weird stuff. Like the mages there are freaking crazy, and the blood mages. Oh my God, Starf there! Hi, hi! Thank you for joining in. Welcome, welcome. How's your Friday? Magic neon signs, floating castle. Not floating castle, like a floating circle in the sky or something i don't know what this is but it looks awesome and the things that we actually got introduced to in the books what the blood mages are doing and what actually dorian and mayveris are trying to do to just let the people just tell the people ease up with the, with the blood sacrifices people just come on <laughs> yeah hi <laughs> So yeah, the winter is going to be glorious AF. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait to see the stuff that we haven't been introduced to magic-wise in other games. Because so far we've been in Ferelden, we've been in Orlais, and in, the, in these two places, even though in some... And we've been to Kirkwall as well. And... In Orlais, for example, mages are not as oppressed as in Kirkwall or Ferelden. But still, mages get the stink eye. But in Tevinter, if you're not a mage, you get the stink eye. You know, so I wonder what's going to be in, in, in Tevinter. I just can't wait. Like how they have their own crazy version of the Chantry too. Yeah, it's like with this dude and you know like <laughs> i love how um i love how dorian put it it's like okay so everyone everyone he just believes that okay the magisters of old broke into the uh the, the winter magisters of old broke into the black city and you know the blight is everywhere because of them and if you ask dorian if you don't think if Tventer doesn't think that it's not the winter mages, then who did? I love his reply. It's like, I don't know, it's not us, you know? <laughs> so it's like, I love to hear their version of the story. 
because uh yeah they have a male a male uh, divine yeah it's uh, he's called the black divine uh dorian best romance ever i love dorian's romance and i love the fact that even though um I mean, it's okay to be gay in Tevinter, but it's not something for long-term relationships, which... And when he says it, I can feel the break in his voice. And the voice actor, actually, who, do, who did Dorian, is just the best thing ever. And whomever decided that Dorian's going to look like this is... Thank you for this. <laughs> I mean, I rarely make male protagonists for my games. But for Dorian, I made one because Dorian is my love. <laughs> he's, oh my God, he's just awesome. I mean, okay, I understand he's going to be my female inquisitor best friend, but I don't think this is enough. I have to romance Dorian because he's awesome. And the thing is like, um, there's something about his romance that there's a quest that you have to do about the necklace. You, you learn only if you romance him you learn that he actually sold a very dear necklace to him to just to be able to reach the inquisition and um you don't actually know about this necklace if you're just a friend and it breaks my heart that if i'm only his friend he's going to lose this necklace forever so even though if i'm playing other romance i always think of oh my god dorian i'm so sorry i'm not romancing you so i could get you back your necklace which is very heartbreaking i just love dorian he's awesome he's awesome his character is awesome and i mean there's this scene with his father in in redcliffe tavern i literally had tears in my eyes when he was speaking and this is this is the brilliance of the voice actor as well he just conveyed how broken the heart broken is when he's when he told his father you tried to change me the way he said it the way he said you tried to change me it's just like i can't i can't take this anymore <laughs> this is just horrible and dorian i need to hug you right now because you're awesome and no one should change dorian whatsoever you have to deal with how awesome he is I forgot how little elves are. She looks so tiny. I mean, yeah, look. <laughs> she's so small. <laughs> Even next to Liliana, which is, I mean, Liliana is a little bit smaller than Alistair, but still. That part kills me every time. It's just, it's the best thing ever, ever. And as I said last time, being from Egypt, I had very little, little knowledge of the LGBT everything. I live in Egypt, even gay people here are closeted. So um, I had no idea how a person should even comprehend a gay person or a trans person. And I really appreciate Bioware for teaching me all that I know about LGBT people now, how to respect them and how to understand them and how to speak to them. Thank you again, Bioware, for teaching me how to how to be a a, a better person. Because in my in, in my society, I couldn't learn this stuff, but Bioware did this for me. Bioware taught me how to talk to people, and I just thank you. I'm really appreciative of this, Bioware. I mean, if I'm not appreciative of anything else, I'm appreciative of this. Uh, hold on, uh, I think I missed something. I think David Gator is a big... I think he is actually the writer of the character. I think he's... Dorian is like his baby or something. Alistair Armour is massive as well. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is huge. <laughs> I wore armor once as a royal armory in Leeds, England. And I can tell you stuff. It's mad. <gasps> wow, you were a real life armor. Oh my god, this is awesome. <gasps> oh my god. You're Megander. Okay, okay. I'm gonna drink a potion. Should I drink a potion of um, a potion of healing, or a potion of stamina? <laughs> I have two kinds of potion with me now. Which kind of potion, you're Megander? Healing or stamina? I want chain mail on. Oh my god, guys! I'm so jealous. I've never seen actually. I've never actually seen any armor in real life, did I? 
No, I don't actually. A potion of rum. I don't have a potion of rum, so I'm going to have a potion of healing as well. I don't have a potion of rum, unfortunately. <laughs> Boo, yeah, I'm boring. I know, I know, I know. I don't drink as much as you do. <laughs> I lived in a house in the 90s with guys who made armor in the basement. <gasps> I am so freaking jealous of you. Like real life armor, like armor would people wear in in medieval times, like real armor, not cosplay or anything. Like made of iron and Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, a fight, a fight. <laughs> oh, <abs> I'm <laughs> pushing it from. Wait a second, that's just drum. <laughs> oh, you think I left because of you? You think I still have some plans for revenge? You're insane, paranoid. Not everything's about you, Marjolaine. Oh, is that what you think? <laughs> if I were you, I would believe nothing, she says. Not a one. She will use you. You look at her and you see a simple girl, a friend, trusting and warm. Oh, shut up. Don't it talk about not. my Liliana I like this. I you, Marjolaine. I left because I didn't want to become you. Oh, but you are me. You cannot escape it. No one will understand you the way I do, because we are one and the same. Do you know why you were a master manipulator, Liliana? Master manipulator, it's because Liliana. because you enjoyed the game. You reveled in the power from. it gave you. At, you like, cannot concentrate or deny this. From. Uh, I trust Liliana no matter what you say. Thank you. You will not threaten me or my friends again, Marjolaine. I want you out of my life forever. You know she will hound you as long as she lives. You've caused too much pain for too many, Marjolaine. It ends here. Oh you no! You think you can kill me like that? It gives you blurry vision I effect. Oh, you, it's a very, very, very useful you potion just then. As <laughs> Okay, okay, she's gonna fight with I her bare hands. You must. I try to be merciful. I try to be merciful. Oh, she's just fighting with her bare hands, isn't she? Oh my god, Alistair is being wrecked. Oh. Why can't he drink a potion? Uh when could you please heal Alistair? He's being a... he's having a boo-boo. Now this should be fun. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. Uh, Wynn, please revive Alistair. He's be he has a boo boo. Uh, her hands are deadly weapons. Where now? Yes, they are. <gasps> okay, we need to get rid of these people here. Uh, she's not a threat actually. She's just with her hands. So let's get this guy over there. Oh crap! Oh crap! No shrimp! When did I last save? Oh my god! No 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 no! No, 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 no. Oh. Let's make this quick. I don't remember where I last saved. <sighs> oh, shrimp, 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 shrimp. Oh my god. Sleep, sleep. Oh. Right away. No. The cat's here. The cat's here. Do you see the cat? Just pass by me. I don't remember when, when I last saved. Yeah. Oh my god, there's an auto save here. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Super Gritsum. This was an awesome use for sound alerts. It was like... <laughs> it was an awesome use of sound alerts. 
I actually couldn't do anything. I was like, oh my god, this music is like a soundtrack of my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's let's kill these people here. <laughs> it's like okay, I can't even be like this music. I can't even comment on how awesome it is now again. <laughs> and thank you for the bit, by the way. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's just save. Okay, let's just have a quick save all right and let's actually have a, a hard save like a new one and let's yeah merger lane's home okay oh my god that was <laughs> oh i think it's like a last i saved it was like in camp and oh god please no don't look now liliana yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we had this, this conversation before like they were sent to give you cause to come to me yeah, just go you away. You think I left because of you? You think we had this you conversation before? Or deny so it. yeah, you will not threaten me or my friend. Okay, okay. So let's get the mage first, shall we? There's a mage over there, so let's get the mage. Going <gasps> right ahead. <sighs> oh, it's a Kunori oh, mage. You should run like oh. that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Are there any more majors? There's a one over there, but let's get this trap first. I'm game. Watch out. Okay. There we go. You deserve only death. You deserve only death. Okay, Alistair, you need a potion, dude. Dude, look at your health. Here. Drink a freaking oh. potion, Alistair. Hey, watch it! Oh. Damn you all! There we go. Oh. Nice try. Be careful! Nice, nice. I actually did it way better this time. Careful. Okay, now we can deal with yes. this lady over here. Put her to sleep. Oh! oh. Like Let's have at it! And I'm off. There we go. Nice. Nice. I did it, everyone. I did it. And let's just not talk about the epic fail. Last time I did this and forgot that it's I over. didn't save. She's dead. She's dead because of me. Oh, no, Liliana. I, I need some time to myself. We will talk later. Can we talk Something now? Something I can help with? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sad. We need to talk later. Someone, can I help you? Okay. Nope. <laughs> that was really weird. Is there any loot in here? I think I got Mar Marjolaine's bow. It Was it here? Uh, or or am I dreaming? I remember having like something called Marjolaine's bow, and I could give it to Liliana. Yeah, see, Marjolaine Marjolaine's recurve restriction, Liliana. Okay, Liliana. Now I am going to give you your former employer's weapon of choice. It's actually lower than the one that I have right now, but it's a crossbow, and crossbows are, I don't know. They're not the perfect thing. <clears throat> I need to go make lunch. Good to see you again. Glad you feel better. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Star of Terror, for joining in. Really appreciate it. And bon appetit. Uh, and thanks again. Man, how do I do sound alerts? Almost used a non-family friendly word. <laughs> uh, no worries at all. I think sound alerts, there's actually like... Um, there's a not a panel like there's in if you check my uh page there is like um it's a panel yes a panel with sound alerts in them and you could actually choose which one you want to use uh i think so i mean i used it once or twice on someone else's stream not much so uh i could be mistaken 
but if you open like my chat my page like my twitch page you could see it like in a, one of the panels i think uh is this wade's emporium no this is goldana's house how about here wade's emporium yep <clears throat> Okay, the cat has the zoomies. He's just running all over the all over the apartment like <laughs> Welcome back. You looking for fine armor? Uh I'm here about Drake's skills. Of course. She's back! She's back! Have you reconsidered? I can make such fine armor with your scales. Yes, please do. Uh I'll pay ten sovereigns extra, make it good and quickly. How much will it cost? Will it take long to make? Are you sure you can make quality armor with this? Okay, let's let's insult him. I'd stake my life on it, friend. Where is your humility when we really <laughs> need it? Uh, how much will it cost? Cost? I should be paying you, friend. <laughs> I oh, no, love him. No, the privilege. Pay him? No, Wade, no. Uh, we'll charge you. I hear nothing of that, Heron. This is my shop. And working on Drake scales will cost a bloody Orlesian penny. Okay, I will actually pay you 10 gold just so you could make it good and quickly, okay? Excellent. You won't regret it. Think of the possibilities, Heron. Think of it. I'm trying to <laughs> stop. I actually paid you. Why are you being so grumpy? You'll hear about your order. I've barely even begun, and you're pestering I'm not pestering you. I'm oh, trying... Oh, get back to work. Eh, come to see our fine <laughs> goods before they sell out. I love these out. two. Um, let's see what you have for sale. Certainly. Because I could sell you lots of stuff that I have no... Of. Oh, my God. So today I learned that you could actually double-click something and you sell it, which made my life way easier. And thanks to Postad for this, because I had no idea that this exists i mean i didn't even know that this was a thing uh tier two chevalier's boots um i think this is could be sold um yep so i can sell more potions i'm not lesser this is all gifts except this one. I could give these ones to the dwarves, but I still haven't done a thing in Orzammar. And I was supposed to do Orzammar today, but ah well. Uh, Alright, do you ha by any chance have a backpack? Heron, no you don't. Alright. Okay, okay. I will come back for the armor. So I think I'm done with Denerim now. I don't think there. Are... Oh, I need, I need. Um, I actually need Zevron with me, and travel to between the cities, so I could trigger his quest. And Master Ignacio as well. Uh, so let's go to camp. Oh, okay. The Andresian Chantry believed that if the Chant of Light has spread to all four corners of the world, the Maker will come back. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. Did you get the backpack from Gorim? You will have to excuse me. Who's Gorim? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. I know yes. I'm horrible. Yes. It's Gorim the guy in Denerim, the guy who's like, Dwarven Crafts, fine, Dwarven Crafts. I think I got it from him. Let's go and check. Just double check. Oh, I haven't even leveled Zivran. Oh, okay, so Dexterity, Constitution, and Cunning. The Chantry are obviously crazy. We all know Sandal is the maker. Right! Right? We don't need to ch spread the chant of light. Uh, give you this. I think I actually got the Gorim's one. Let me go check. Go double check. 
Uh, dwarven crafts. Fine, dwarven crafts. Dwarf. Welcome back. Is there something else you'd like to look at? Yeah. Every piece. Come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a bag or did I buy it from you? I think I already bought it. It's not there. So I think I already got it. Yep. I dwarven already got it. crafts. Find dwarven, dwarven crafts. crafts direct, direct from, from Orzammar. You won't find, find better. better. Uh, so yeah, let's walk between the alleys. Dwarven of... crafts. Okay, fine, fine dude, crafts. we get it. I think there's someone here. Uh, like this guy or something. Yeah, Master Ignacio. Okay. Another visitor, the Maestro. Enjoy browsing my wares. Who are you? Master Trader Ignacio, at your service. See, good sir. speak in the Italian guy. and I Master have trade Ignacio. connections all along the seaways. We have furniture, silks, carvings, and much more. Cesar handles the trade stock. I handle other affairs. You're not from Ferelden, are no, you? No, I am not. I am a trader at heart. My home is the road. But I was born past the waking sea in Antiba. It has been many, many are years since I Are you even going to say anything? But the road oh, is a better mistress than my home city ever was. Uh, what do you mean? On the docks of Rialto, life is yeah, cheap. See, as it's, cheap it's, as the docks right there and the soil On the docks pours. of Rialto, you I mean Rialto, it's here. very Italian. You have to talk like this in Italian. Time. <laughs> it is very Italian accent. Nothing Spanish about it. <laughs> Straightforward, predictable danger is refreshing to me. Any moment in Rialto, the streets can run red, and often do. I take dark spawn any day. At least you can see <laughs> them coming. Do you need any help? Um, no, not yet. Perhaps one day. Okay. What stories do you have of Antiva? It has been many, many years since I have seen her. Oh, I, I already know. Yeah. Luck be to you, warden. So Zivrin did he say anything, even though he knows who's got who this guy is. Okay. Alright, Zivrin. Dwarven crafts. Oh my god. Find dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. Oh a squirrel! Oh look, look, look! Oh so cute, squirrel! Hey! Oh. Okay. <laughs> Back to the game. Back to the game, Nancy. Uh, okay, uh, let's go Going. walk the wa walk the alleys of Denrim and see Message oh. for you, m'lady. For me? Who? What? Uh. <laughs> More things to deliver. Goodbye. Oh, it's Ignacio, isn't he? Okay, so what's, what am I being asked for with? Uh, Trials of the Crows. A delivery boy has given you a cryptic message saying that if you're interested in working with Antiven Crows, that you should head to one of the back rooms of the Nod Noble Tavern. Okay. It's messy. That kid's voice has so much echo. Yeah, yeah, I, I noticed that too. That's so weird. Okay, uh... Dwarven craft. Oh my god. Fine, dwarven craft. <laughs> this is the no Noble Tavern. Uh, let's go to the back room. It's in here. Master Ignacio. You hear about a note? Maybe we Dude, have I just we asked talk you. About. Outside. Just see the conversation stays civil. If this is a trap, I... Zevran, is it? You are Talisan's responsibility. Other crows may try to kill you, but in my eyes, you're already dead. So, you are of no notice. But the warden here, she is of great interest to me. Oh, I'm flattered. <laughs> 
Ferelden is listening. a busy place. Blight, civil war, other mayhem. Lots of people not getting along. Sometimes they really don't get along. Maybe want to do something about it. The people that handle that sort of thing can get real busy. Real busy? You are tragically mistaken if you think I'm an assassin. Well, go on. It takes time to do be. a good job. <laughs> for pride the, in your for work. The, you know. For the good but price. But customers have expectations. Not many people to turn to if you're short-staffed in some lines of work. So, someone that's crossed our path and lived, well, maybe they could help out. Make some coin. Everyone wins. He is very evasive and... Oh, look at the doggy. Why is she standing like this? Oh. Pixel. Oh. <laughs> daddy, daddy. Okay, this is... This is... This is a free, like... Summon the dog wants on the house. <laughs> because he is so cute. <laughs> this is on the house. Oh, look at this. Mm. Okay, yeah, go on. I'm not an assassin for free. Yeah, I'm not an assassin yet. Uh, if the price is right, I'm interested. I hand you a scroll. You read it, you learn about someone interesting. If you find out something happens to him, something unfortunate, then he's if we very talk evasive. Again, you can't actually give you hold money the for word letting against me him. Know. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this. I'm sorry, when you don't but like what's on the it's scroll, tough times. don't do anything. A girl's Maybe gonna eat. he has an accident, and someone else tells me all about it. Uh, oh, I can actually push him into talking like normally. Hold on. Why all the Inunindu? Please know what this is about. You can never be too careful. Can you blame someone for being circumspect? I think it's. I think it's the in the end. There it goes go. like there's something Makes in the chest if reading. someone finds it and they could like you're I don't a understand. Weasel, Ignacio. What's your angle? If you're playing us false. My dance is not for you. I need to be real honest sometimes. And I can say I haven't asked anyone to do anything. I've just given someone something interesting to read. And you think that will save your hide when they nail it to a wall? You are already dead in my eyes, Horson. Don't call it. Take him. care Why that I don't learn so otherwise. Me. If that's all, luck be to you. It is so when disapproves. Seriously, when? Come on, disapproves of what? Enjoy the reading. Actually, I already killed the guy. What? You you, <laughs> you did what? A family friendly. What, what did I say? Did I say something that's not family friendly? <clears throat> Your point isn't lost on me. You might want to look in the chest behind me. There might be something of interest. Oh, still when... I mean, I, I, maybe it's like the old disapproval or something. Contract for Ked and Faye mercenaries. And um, contract for Ambassador Gainley. Okay. Why does she disapprove? Is it because I'm going to kill people? Swin, come on. <laughs> huh. Oh. Oh, the kitty. The kitty has the zoomies again. You should see the carpet. It's messed up. <laughs> Oh my god, kitties are so weird. Okay, let's check the journal. Um, we need one scroll indicated that you should go to the forest south of Denerim to look for a group of Konari mercenaries. And you have a contract to kill Ambassador Gainley who is residing in the royal palace of Orzammar. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so let's just, okay, let's just do the Dwarven thing craft. that actually Fine. needs Dwarven to be craft. done in Denerim and maybe do the other contracts because one of them is going to be on Orzammar and probably it's best to leave Orzammar for next stream 
So let's just do this one and try to trigger uh, Talisons, I think his name was. Talisons, you know, like Zevran's side quest. And let's see if we could trigger it. I never did all the crow stuff. My character is a human noble, so for RP reasons, they weren't really down for sneaky kind of stuff. It's cool to see it, though. Yeah, I actually, I always do them, but again, I don't uh, Going. play much as a non-elf. I know, I know, I'm boring. I'm one of these people who actually stick to one style of play, but I sometimes, come on, come on, come on. Sometimes I actually, um, do something different but the bulk of my playthroughs are almost always the same it was the only character i did that was more pro templar than pro mage see that's the thing even though i mix and match my decisions like i do this or i do that and in inquisition like let celine die or no i save celine and reconcile her with briala or no, I will let three of them rule together. Okay, I went to the Templars, or I went to the Mages, but one thing I never did was to be a 100% pro-Templar person. Oh, Talisan only shows up during the lens meet. Oh, really? Oh, okay, so so I don't need to waste time with this then. Okay, okay, that, that's... That's good to know. Thank you for letting me know about this. Uh, so let's go to the kid and Faye hideout. So yeah, yeah, I feel so bad for, I mean, even though I actually um, did, went to the Templars and in Inquisition, I still had them leashed, you know? I did not forgive them. And even when I go to the mages, I always set them free. I just can't oppress the mages. <clears throat> I know it's boring and I know that I should make some match, but I just can't oppress the mages, especially, especially in, I'm sorry, in Dragon Age 2. I can't. The Templars are horrible <laughs> in Dragon Age 2. And as horrible as some blood mages are, I just can't take them all with the mistakes of some. It just it, it doesn't make any sense for me. I mean, some of them are evil, horrible blood mages. I understand. But what the Templars are doing is not the answer. It's just creating more and more blood mages. And even though I do not agree with what Anders did, I understand his plight. I understand his, 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 his problem. I understand... I never, never approve of what he did with killing innocent people, but I understand where he's coming from. I understand his frustration. And even if I'm romancing him, like at the end of the game, I always go like, okay, leave now. I don't want to be around you. But I can't like, for example, kill him. I mean, I understand where he's coming from, even though I don't agree with what he did, but it's, it's like oppression is not the answer. Siding with the Templars in two would have felt weird to me too. Yes, yeah, like yeah, and I always think of like the Templars are the ones in power. Okay, if the mages are doing something wrong and they are actually oppressing, because I do not agree with people who said when I say like I don't like the Templars, the Templars they go like okay, but look at the mages. The mages are not the ones in power. The Templars are. They are the ones who are oppressing the mages. They are the ones that need to do something to help the mages stop doing whatever they're doing. The mages are literally someone's being cornered, so they do this or do that. I would blame the mages in Tevinter, where, where the mages are in power. But I do, not, I do not blame the mages for what the Templars, the ones who are in power, are doing to them, if you know what I mean. Like, okay, I understand the blood mages are wrong and evil and blood sacrifices are horrible, abominations are bad, but why are they doing this? They're doing this because they are cornered. They have no other reason, especially in Kirkwall. Kirkwall is horrible. <laughs> it's a horrible place to be a mage. 
blow up the chantry all day. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly what I'm saying. I do not agree with killing innocents in the chantry. I do not agree with this, but I know where it's coming from. And I can sympathize, but I do not agree. I do not... I will not pat Anders on his back for doing this. But I will not, like, kill him for doing it. I mean... The guy waited. I mean, it's just a game, and it's a really short game, so you don't feel like it's a, it's a long time. But I think the game goes on for like I don't know, maybe, I don't know, lots of years, between the act and the actor. It's actually a long time. So Anders actually did give it more than a chance. He gave the Chantry more than one chance to 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 help stop this. He gave the Templars more than one chance to help stop this. He did this, he did that, he did, he did, he did. And eventually, there was no other choice for him except for blowing up the Chantry. Still do not agree with what he did, but he tried everything else and it didn't work. Kirkwall, it's a horrible place to be a mage. And the guy lost everything. He lost his... I think Carl was like his boyfriend or something. And... It was just a horrible place, and you would see the tranquil. It's, it's like I understand where he's coming from, even and though I don't agree with him. Huh. Let's wipe them out quickly. That's a lot of Konari people. <laughs> wow, Nandy can do a podcast just discussing that. <laughs> He would actually never get tired of actually talking about Dragon Age lore. <laughs> I know some people go like, you don't play the game as much as you talk about the lore. I know! <laughs> like, I know, right? It's like, I know! Okay, 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 just make sure everyone is safe. Yeah, I could speak about the lore for days. I mean, my husband just passed by and he was like, you're still speaking about lore. I know! <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's my obsession. It's my obsession. Oh, oh my god, Alistair is getting his butt kicked. Shall we come? Oh my god, I'm getting my butt kicked as well. Hold on. Oh, oh my god, Alistair. Alistair, seriously, drink something. That's a lot of Konari people. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I don't think Alistair is actually doing anything, is he? He's just standing there. I mean, sometimes the games that bugs... And I'm out. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Whoa. Alright. Warden is being tied up. Our magic will make sure of work of them. Oh. Nice, nice. Oh. oh my god, come on. All the rare hornless. Hey, thank you! That's what I actually was talking about the other time. It's like, look. Okay, so the Kunari should have horns, but the Kunari doesn't have horns, really rare. And they are actually... Oh my god, there they go again. <laughs> there you go, talking about lore again. <laughs> okay, so the hornless Kunari are rare, and they are very revered, and they are so special, and blah blah blah. And then in Dragon Age Origins, every single freaking Konari is hornless and even in Dragon Age 2 and in Inquisition <laughs> yes exactly we're gonna send all the no horn boys down to Ferelden but only them and I mean sir but they are so rare and they are so revered I said all of them and the thing is actually these Konari are practically Telvajos they're actually not Konari so all the hornless Kunari are Telvajos, like, seriously. I mean, only Sten is the horn only hornless Kunari that actually is a Kunari. Which is like, okay, oh, they are very oh, weird, oh. but we are going to send all of them to die in Ferelden, where the blight you. is, you know. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> 
Oh my god, but thank you, thank you, because I talked about this once and everyone was like, yeah, but oh, she just said that it's, it's, um, they're just revered. And I, was, I know, I know, they're revered. There's like, they're closer to the gods or whatever, but let's just send them all to Frelden <laughs> and only them. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's get this. All right, so I think the quest is now updated. So the, the only one I'm missing right now is um, the one in Orzammar. So I'm keeping Orzammar for the next stream. I liked that Konarian Inquisition who had like a massive book tied to their outfit yeah it's like i love the outfits in inquisition they are so great and i love the fact that you could actually um for your companions each one has their style and no matter if you change the arbor their style is kept like dorian still had his like fancy stuff and solus still had his fur and his jawbone and uh vivian still had like her fancy dress sarah had hair whatever she was wearing so everyone had their own style and even if you changed armor they still look the same except for certain armors that actually like a warden armor for example that would look different but mainly the armor that you could make it would keep the style of the companion i love this about inquisition the whole Konari lore is really interesting too, like their species name being tied to their belief system and nobody knowing quite what they actually are. See, I have this theory. Actually, the, the Iron Bull agrees with this theory, is that there were some dragon blood tied somewhere. The fact that they have ears is... Okay, this is a free on the house. Hold on. Let me actually do this. I will... Um, I will do something. I will do this. I will redeem this, all right? And I will tell you a random Dragon Age lore. It's not actually a lore fact. It's more of a hypothesis. So you're welcome to discuss this with me. So I'm going to tell you about something. Um, if you talk to Cassandra a little bit, you could actually learn that some people in Navarra were actually obsessed by dragons and dragons uh, dragon hunting and such some of them would actually drink the blood of the dragons and eventually they would turn into they will not turn but they will have different uh behavior they would actually grow scales or something like scales on their body which is weird but it happens and if you talk to the iron bull he talks about how how the how the Kunari looks like dragon and maybe somewhere in the how the Tamasran breed the Kunari, maybe blood was um introduced in one of the stages before. Um if you tie this and tie this and tie the fact that Kunari have pointy ears like elves and if you are a Kunari and you play the game till the end you know always Corypheus says something about your race i don't remember what he says about a human but if you are a dalish and have the veld lean he goes like you you come to me with your slave markings and you want to defeat a god but if you are a kunari Corypheus says you are not even a, a real race your race is a mistake okay so what if what if and if you have anything to say about this just let me know what if if actually the canary were some sort of elves who were turned into like shock troops you know like cannon fodder <clears throat> by being infused with dragon stuff dragon blood dragon whatever and so they were elves that got turned into like some sort of elven dragon hybrid it would make sense probably ancient elves mixed with dragon blood yeah exactly it makes so much sense 
And I haven't seen any lore fact that would actually contradict this, so I'm keeping it until something else comes up that would tell me, no, Nancy, you were wrong. And <clears throat> so the the Kunari actually started going south near near Thedas from wherever they're coming from in the north in the past 300 years. And before that, we had no knowledge of them whatsoever from the land they were coming from. So what if the ancient elves were doing something up there and this something up there were just like feral or something and they somehow made a society and they evol got, um, ev what's it called, evolution. The evolution did its work and they turned into this sentient beings that started to be the Kunari but they are all trying to have this hive mind, but it doesn't work with sentient beings. So some of them would break loose and turn into stealth but the others are trying to do this hive thingy. So it's just, it's weird. The Kunari are weird and their lore is weird. You can also say something weird to a Kunari Inquisitor. Yeah, I do. I, I Actually, when I was saying this, I tried to remember what Kieran says, but I don't remember i will have to consult youtube for this but i don't remember at all all i remember is like if you were an a dalish inquisitor with the with the vaseline he says i don't know why your people choose to look like this and i think he he's talking about the vaseline because it's slave markings and the kid knows something love that theory i thought that too i'm sure he mentioned the race they evolved from were very different from what they are now. I forgot about Krifia saying the Kunari were an accident. Yeah, see, it's it's it makes so much sense, but it's still as everything else in the Dragon Age lore, it needs way more information that we don't have. If only, if only we have some sort of ancient being that could actually tell us anything, but no, I mean. In, in Dragon Age Origins, we have Flemeth, we have the Architect, and they don't talk and they don't tell us anything. In Dragon Age 2, we meet Corypheus when he's confused, and he still doesn't tell us much. In Dragon Age Inquisition, we meet a ton load of ancient beings who could an actually answer our questions. But no, we're not going to answer any questions. There's Flemeth, there is uh, Abelas. There is Solus, there is um, Corypheus. There are so many people who would actually tell us information. But no, no. Why would you tell? What would? Why would we tell you information and you would like live happily ever after? No, you will have to like have theories and everything. Delish elf with the vel with the Vaseline. <laughs> I with the Vaseline. <laughs> Imagine like the Dalish elf in the back with the best lead. <laughs> oh my god. Pixie, <laughs> no. Dalish elf in the back with the best lead. Stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> Okay, I think this is way enough for me uh, tonight. I mean, I've been streaming for what, I think, two and a half hours. Oh, wow. Let's see who is online and let's go raid them. Oh, Michelle is online. Uh, how about we go say hello? I found the quote. Kieran says to the Inquisitor, their blood does not belong to your people. See? It's, it's mind-blowing. I think the Canary came from something else that was a result of a horrible exper experiment. Maybe it was Gilanan doing something crazy like she always does. I really hope Dragon Age 4 just gives us a little bit of an answer. I mean, I don't I don't want like the whole everything set in front of me. Just okay, let me think and let me work my mind, but just give me a little bit of an answer, just a little tiny bit and I will work the rest. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Super Great Stuff and Cow Meme and everyone who's lurking. I really appreciate it. Thank you for showing up and thank you for just Star of Terra as well. If you're still here, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you. Uh, so how about we go raid Michel and make his day? Shall we make him feel better? I really 
hope so raid and i will have maybe my second visit to stream but they have been so cool thank you thank you so much and i really hope that this is not the last one i i just putting my schedule out there i stream at the same time every friday and monday dragon age i'm supposed to have another minecraft stream somewhere in the week but i still didn't i still don't know where when exactly it will be but what's constant is friday and mondays it's gonna be dragon age and i'm going to have lots and lots of more lore fact for next monday so i really wish i see you then and Michel Basile. And I would actually love to see you on Monday. Thank you so much again for joining in. Thanks for the bits as well. I really appreciate it. And see you all later. Bye. Okay, let's just go raid. Okay, my viewers. Bye, Orman. Bye. There we go. Raid. I hope you had fun. You seem to love it when I was there.